Hello and welcome to dad.info. My name's Mark Arnold and this month we're talking about something that can be quite stressful for all children, but particularly for children with additional needs and disability. This month we're talking about back to school. Now it's the end of the summer holidays and hopefully your kids have had a brilliant time, but that transition back to school can often be really hard for them. Uh, apart from just the change from six weeks of summer holiday routine to a whole new routine for school, they might have a new class to go to, new teaching staff, maybe new pupils, all kinds of things that they need to get used to. So here's a few tips to help you to help your child to be ready to go back to school. First thing is to make a, a schedule of the last few days of the summer holiday. Help them to know how many days of summer holiday there are left, uh, maybe what you're gonna be doing during some of those, uh, and then when school starts. Give them a few days to be able to get used to the idea that it's back to school time. If you can, maybe two or three days before the end of the summer holiday, have a bit of a dry run, a practice run uh, of a school day. Help them to know that it's a practice, that it's not for real, uh, but do all the things that you would do on a normal school day. So get up at the usual school day time, get uniforms on, get lunch boxes prepared, all that kind of stuff. Maybe even take them on a bit of a trial trip into school uh, to uh, just get them used to uh, what a morning is like uh, for back to school. On the last day of the summer holiday, if you can, make it a treat day. Make it a day where you do something really special to celebrate the end of the summer holiday, to bring a conclusion, a natural closure to that period of holiday. Uh, and so that they know that tomorrow uh, it's back to school and it's going to be different. Again, if you can, be there for them on that first morning back. Uh, if you're able to get some time off work, um, depending on what your access um, uh, availability is for your child, uh, if you can, be there on that first morning to help them to go back to school well and equip them with something that's gonna help them through the day. Give them a visual timetable. Uh, maybe uh, this might need you to be in touch with school in advance to get what the programme for the first day is going to be. But put a visual timetable together that helps them to know all the different things they're gonna be doing on that first day back. Something as a resource that they can use to help them navigate their way through the day. And at the end of the day, uh, if you're again uh, able to do this and if you're available uh, to your child at the end of that first school day, um, have a bit of a treat plan for them then as well. It might just be something as simple as uh, going to the park, uh, or a trip to McDonald's or something like that. But something for them to really look forward to as they're going through that first day, knowing that at the end of the day, you're gonna be doing something really good and special together. And if you're able to do all of those things and prepare uh, your child as much as possible uh, for their return to school, then back to school won't be as scary and as difficult for them as it otherwise might be because it's yeah, the end of a six week period. It's a long time that they've been on holiday. So doing all we can to prepare them and help them to go back to school is really gonna be good for them and good for school and us and all uh, of us that are engaged in looking after uh, that child as well. So I hope you have a great end to the summer holidays and a really brilliant back to school day. See you next month.